Okay, let's go. Okay, before we go on exactly that, I'm gonna go with what I'm 100% sure while I still think a bit more. Um, so I'm definitely gonna want to, so you know, strengthen up my relations with the Bruhan gang first. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the Bruha first. Okay. And by going with that, so the first one was just like socializing and uh, whatnot, but the other one, which I believe that the um, Bruja would like. So remember when I tell, told you about the Ventru and I might have had an argument with them, passing mean words, and that might have all happened in Elysium, right? Mm-hmm. Now, how would, now how, would you, how would the Bruja like if there's just one dude goes in there, spills a lot of bad, you know, bad uh, blood with the Ventru in their own Elysium, and just leave the city giving zero fucks? of every one of single of the Ventru. Do you think they'd like that? Yeah, they they may well see that as a uh, badass. Though the leaving part would be seen as a bit of a bitch move, but that would be forgiven, given that you're a wanderer by nature. Then I'll take that. Okay, and give us a specific situation. Describe us one instance of this in more detail. Literally the one that I said a while ago, um, the Elysium, you know, the, where some venture may have been talking behind my back and whatnot. I might have got the rumors from you know, some Toriders and whatnot. And then I just went like, you know, to the Toriders, one second. Go to the fucking Ventru group right there and just go, you know, start just bad mouthing them. And just, like, you know, first start nice. And then consistently go worse, 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 and then just basically, in general, describe how fucking bad they are. <laughs> and then, n not even, not, 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 you know, destroying anything like a fucking bruja. No, just, just, you know, consistently try and roast them with their bad attitude and just sort of like drop the mic at the end. And oh, like, you know, I think that would be a case of a couple of Ventru just drawing blades and going for you and you're just going like lol noobs walk out <laughs> while they're trying to slash at you <laughs> everyone jumping on them to restrain them stop stop he's a gang rally you fool <laughs> so yeah that works doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that works Okay, so Epic, this is the fourth good one, right? Yep, uh, and uh, I actually think I'm going to double down on the Malkavian stuff real quick. Mm-hmm. Two ticks on the Malkavian front. Uh, well, besides just, you know, write them down as yeah. separate events, but yeah. I know, I was just going to put them as part of the same little... Okay. I categorized by plus, minus, that kind of stuff. Okay. You put two pluses on Malkavian and continue adding on to the end here. Right. Alright. So, besides just generally treating the Malkavians well and such, she has generally uh, formed a bit of a... Uh, I'm not sure what the right way to describe this. I mean... Besides a general kind of attitude of being a mediator between a lot of Malkavians, we tend to begin arguments with each other fairly often. Yeah. Uh, and she's, uh, she's not uh, usually quite as bad as a lot of other Malkavians with her derangement. Doesn't generally impair her. So she's able to try and, you know, go, all right, look, he's just really trying to get X He's really trying to get to Y. Uh, can we just talk about Z for a moment and make sure that we all get the other letters as well? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I think in terms of categorization, like, both of these would fall under treating Malkavians well, but one is specifically helping them when they're in trouble, and another is trying to keep the clan bound together and working as a whole, with a little less grinding yes. in the gears. But yeah, give us a specific situation. Oh, I 
I should type that as. Uh, sorry. I was getting used to typing it at the same time. Uh, specific situation. Uh, during one of the Malkavian gatherings, uh, while everyone was in the middle of basically trying to uh, talk about their fish, their pie was better, things like that. Uh, she went over to some of the other Malkavian elders and convinced them that we should really be getting to the crux of the meeting rather than having everybody talk to each other right now. I just imagining headcanon wise that they all just turn on you and start screaming at you and that's what unifies them. They did! And it worked and she was happy about it. <laughs> Just throwing glares at you. Don't you dare interfere with this very important business, little girl. <laughs> they keep talking. They managed to eventually all start talking about the um, the purpose of the meeting after that. After yelling at her for a good two hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Demi, I think we are now on the third negative for you, right? Uh, I thought we had a minus two with the ventral already. You had a minus one because you described yelling at them in Elysium. I said that you would have to describe that, the other part, as a separate thing. Okay, okay. I can't have the same thing be counting as two. Yeah, because I want to spread this out to add... At least a few stitches as to what you are like overall in your dealings with other kindred. Because, like, we have to work in general generalizations a lot, but I do want to have at least a few broad strokes as to what kind of shit you've been up to. I uh, just I can't think of anything uh, more for Ventress. So that's gonna just gonna stay probably at minus one. Uh, I mean, like I said, you you can just add the, like the prince has called a meeting of all the kindred in the city, you don't show up, it's, you're like, fuck it, and they're like, motherfucker! They asked me where, you're, where I was, I was just serenading your child. <laughs> I mean, if you stayed in the city, this, no, I, the way you described it was like, I about that. <laughs> I think that, like, the way you described it was, like, you just move on at some point without really bothering about whether the prince is done with you yet or not, and that pisses them off. Mm. Um. Doesn't have to be a camp clans, especially for the dislikes. Oh, um, I think so. You did state yeah, that um, you, in particular, dislike the Sabbat. Yeah, and, and more specifically, the Zinnacy. Okay. Similar to the uh, fucking uh, Tremere, they just make a fucking lot of abominations. And I just, you know, decided that whenever I fucking, you know, meet one of these fucking Zinnacy bastards, I hand them in. Sort of a, a nice little pounding this time, because what the fuck, dude? What the fuck are you doing? Um, so yeah. you make a point of kicking Zimity asses and leaving them alive to spread the message? Kinda sounds badass, yeah. <laughs> that is metal as fuck, bro. It will get you killed, but that's pretty metal. Uh, can that count for the rest of whatever he has left? <laughs> if I didn't, if I didn't want as many of these as reasonably possible, yes, but no. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a pretty big one to me, but okay. Based on that, I might let you take an additional flaw of just Clan Amnity Zemitsi and have a vault show up in your park one night. Uh, I might take uh, a bit uh, off, yes. That was pretty impressive. 
I'm not even thinking these through. I'm just saying the first thing that comes to my mind, and it comes out metal as fuck. I love it. <laughs> Demi, describe a specific situation. So as if he enters a bar. <laughs> um, no, no. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of uh, where it would be plausible. Uh, oh, probably the New World, first of all. Um, I don't want to say it was... Well, yeah, actually. I kind of want to use it as, as a sort of a recent thing, actually. Uh, here's the first question. Like, I know this is we're here, but uh, was the Zimisi population actually, you know, decent here? I mean, if you were doing this as part of the attack, you, well, probably wouldn't have, because here it was important to actually kill them. Okay. Um... Better off uh, stating this was actually fairly early on. Yeah, I... Well, definitely... no, later on is fine, it can be just like 10 or 20 years ago. Because he would be more comfortable doing that. When he was, you know, at this level of power or close to it, right? Totally. Uh, the bigger thing I was thinking about was Wandering Samisi. The Wandering Samisi stuff was more common earlier in the centuries. I mean, he wanders all over the place. The Samisi don't have to be wandering. He can just go like, Lol, I killed all your schlachta, bitch. Don't make any more. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you crippled with tag on this here floor and, uh... You know. I, I, I hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> just this dumbfounded look on his face, like... Just this text floats up from under the screen. He will remember that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. We're yeah, I was actually thinking out. of sort of a thing more like... Since I was in the New World, wandering everywhere, and Sabat are kind of everywhere, I probably would have stumbled... Uh, you know, in a city or something, actually met one of these uh, fucking Zimacy fuckers. And of course, be Zimacy being Zimacy, his fucking ego tried to, you know, like, hey, hello. And after I know, recognize that he's, you know, fucking Zimacy and whatnot, I gave him a good pounding. Okay, would you have respected guests, right, if one had invited you in? No, fuck the Zimacy. You wouldn't have accepted guest, right, I take it. Why would I... I don't know that- I didn't know that monsters have etiquette. You would know. Your no, sire probably know. fought alongside Zimitzi against the hated Tremere. I'm, I'm just going more of a sort of- I mean, I know they have etiquette, I'm just going like a- I don't fucking respect their etiquette. Uh-huh. I don't want to be invited to their lair. Okay. So, as soon as you realized what it was, the beating was predestined? Yep. He just tries to recruit you. You grow claws under the table. <laughs> yeah, like go into the like you know. Imagine like this, you know, a nice house at the beginning. Like, hey, this is a nice place to have. Then as you go deeper in, the more flesh you see. I was like, oh, well then, say hello to my little fizz. This is another guest you need. Honestly. <laughs> You would not be going in there peacefully under an escort unless you had accepted guest right at the front door and made a promise not to fuck with the place. Okay, fair. So, honestly, meeting them somewhere in the city makes more sense. Yeah. But, yeah. Just like a dark alley. Hey, psst. Have you heard the word of our savior, uh, Cain? Okay, so that's a third negative for Demi. Epic. Another negative. Uh, have problems with. If you want to be really creative, you can suggest other groups of supernaturals that you've pissed off. I can't think of any that, uh, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking of another negative, particularly. Uh, I've already hit the two groups that would be particular. 
Mm -hmm. Well, it could be another group of assholes, for example, those self-same setites who you might have just rescued some people from their plots or clutches. I'm not sure you know how setites work if you think their plots generally end up with people not enjoying them. I mean, yes, but that doesn't mean that people would... That doesn't mean that just... Like, just because a drug feels good doesn't mean it's good for you, you know? Yes. So, it might occur at some point, but most of the time the setites are pretty good about that kind of thing. Bitch, please, don't feed me that setite master race. You save that for Jackalor. It's not really about setite master race or anything. It's that they generally don't do much that actually harms people unless it's something that was already well on their way to harming the people. Really the people make that kind of choice. I've seen Not some sure of the fluff. Them. They do corrupt people for the sake of raising power and manipulating them. They do peddle some very dark shit when they can. They totally peddle some really dark shit sometimes. The thing is, they usually do something similar to what Malkavians actually do. Hey, That's Malkavians... Malkavians teach people. Setites destroy people, okay? Actually, that's a good point. That could be something there. While she doesn't have a problem with Setites herself, the Setites might have a problem with her. <laughs> uh-huh. Very much because so. She would definitely... Be trying to help people wean themselves, wean the, you know, just take them away from their more dangerous habits and such. She would be trying to get them to go on a better path, and she'd be pretty good at it most of the time. Do you want to go with that? Yeah. Okay. Then describe us a specific situation where that could have come up. Uh. I'll, uh, the specific situation, I will actually say, she didn't even know it was a, you know, somebody the followers of Set was messing with. She actually just tried to help a governor, or, you know, yeah, I'll go with a governor of the town, uh, with his addiction to uh, some kind of club. He just, she was just like, you really need to stop this. It's tearing apart your family. Come back home, okay? Try try and get off of this. And ended up pissing off a setite that was trying to get that guy under his thumb. <sighs> Poor leather daddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that works. Demi, I think we have two positives and one negative left. Mm, yeah. Okay, then give me one of the positives. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna strengthen uh, the gang rub, so get up to a plus two. So the first one was basically, you know, the socialization, all things and spreading the stories. And the other thing that, of course, gang rules uh, like are strength. Um, and, uh, well, my, me particularly, I'm not strong, but dexterous. I can take a beating. A lot of beating. And just basically go, like, yeah, you can't fucking hurt me. I'm just going to wreck you. So I would have probably gone with a sort of situation where uh, either by or sort of like uh, proving myself in battle or something that I'm actually still capable and pretty fucking strong that I can uh, still wreck ass. Also could use the, uh, the, the Zimity that I'm pounding as also an example. Mm -hmm. Well... Essentially, Gangrel value independence of all kinds, so it doesn't have to be specifically strength. Rip epic. So, yeah. I mean, if we're talking about independence, I mean, I think I've already kind of proven that. You know, with the uh, ignoring the Ventru, roaming around wherever I want to do, do kind of things that I want yes, to do. Yes, but give us a specific example just for this. Uh, so for the independence thing? Yes. Or the, uh, okay. Well, independence slash strength, however you want to pitch it. 
Exactly sure for fuck's sake. Like I'm trying to think of a story, but work back epic. Oh, good. My internet's back up. It just did a hiccup. So sorry. Didn't get to hear whatever you said. He's yeah, still trying to uh, come up with a way how he could demonstrate his have demonstrated his independence to his own clan. I mean, I guess by the doing that, I guess like slandering the trim, uh, like not not the trim, but slandering the bench, basically. Like a lot of people know, like bench are usually the guys up there. So basically, going. Against... I would say that this doesn't fit. Gangrel are survivors. They're not like Bruja who have to prove how strong they are in a you know by picking a fight. But they're like, you know, people who survive no matter what. So you going against the establishment actually is against clan policy in a weird way because you're picking a fight that you don't need to in order to survive. You're picking it for your own, you know, emotional satisfaction essentially. So that is that is a thing that wouldn't actually fit, not for Gangrel. I guess I couldn't use the same argument then with the Zimacy, right? Trying to survive like a Zimacy and it's probably Schlacht attacking me and then whatnot, right? Only if they were coming after you, but it sounds like you just deliver a beating when you feel like it. Hmm. What about this? Um, since I was traveling a lot, I'm not sure if I would actually survive that. That's the question or not. Uh, a fucking werewolf, maybe. Uh, it's say a uh, 50 to 100 XP Gangrel could relatively easily survive one if he was willing to pump blood into activating fortitude. Right. So. But would that would that actually be okay if I say like since I'm traveling a lot, I actually encountered a lot of you know werewolves at times and had to uh, pretty much uh, survive them, either beat them or if they were you know beat them, uh, use uh, my wits trying to uh, you know try to I guess get, you get probably out. wouldn't have met like insane amounts of them, but over the years you would have met three or four and probably a few other weird things. So yeah, that that would work as a general thing. So give us like a quick rundown of a specific encounter as part of that. Um, I guess I'll just go with the same werewolf thing. Um, where would I have been? Uh, I guess at this point I would probably be somewhere like... I think I'm just going to go with new uh, old world at this point since it does fit where i were like 50 100 xp i would have prove, proven myself more there at that point right uh, not I... necessarily like keep in mind we need to like that's just the start of your journey the old world stuff because you weren't there that long you are a lot longer in the new world and that was also the longest time ago Okay. Like, so, I get the temptation to put all of it in the old world, but y you're you're not an old world monster. Not really. Okay. So, I'll just put it in a new world. Uh, probably while roaming uh, the east coast, going there first. Uh, probably would have uh, found, uh, encountered a werewolf uh, if we go by actual lore. It might have been a Uctena, a Wendigo, probably a Wendigo fucker. Um... Then that I just had to, you know, beat, survive. Probably made a song about it as well. Spread that as well. Just proving myself like that. That work? 
Uh, sure. Probably ran into an other, another would be elder slash uh, mediumish and silly who's just like looking at you skeptically, then reads your mind, starts nodding like, fine, okay, fine, you killed one. I guess you can talk. But yeah, that certainly works. So, epic. Another uh, good encounter slash thing slash whatever. Uh, actually, I uh, a bit of a weird one. Okay. Uh, yeah. This will be a little weird, but I think I'm going to have good relations with the Asamites. Okay, please explain this most carefully. <laughs> uh, because they really like... kill people. <laughs> I know! <laughs> A lot. Uh, yes. Yeah, they do. Uh, so, she's generally, uh, you know, when she's talked to them, she's usually tried to steer them away from trying to, you know, just kill absolutely anybody and that kind of stuff. On the other hand... She has shown a willingness to actually work and assist them when the target has been somebody of, you know, particularly nasty uh, behaviors. I don't see how that would necessarily in are you in particular to that clan? That's just basic elder pragmatism, honestly. From oh, their okay. point of view. That... Sure. I won't even bother with it then. Uh, that's just something that uh, would be a thing. I mean, I get it, and it fits with your personal goals. I just don't see how it would earn a reputation of any particular note among them. Th then it won't. Then it really won't. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's just what I thought about at the moment. Okay. Uh, let's see, someone else then. De La Sombra. Uh, I don't know how she would get along well with La Sombra in general. Anyone have any ideas? I mean, probably not with the Sabatla Sombra, but the anti tribu are regularly shot on. She'd be more than willing to talk to them. Invite them home, things like that, things like that. Visit their home. I mean, generally, they do try to stay out of sight. Ten fucking minutes. God fucking damn it, what is it with everyone today? Jesus. Christ, motherfuckers. Oh no. Uh, sure. I'll put a plus on the La Sombra. Uh, particularly with the anti trivia. It might have gone a little bit over to the other side, maybe a little bit. But if not, whatever. I don't really care. It, it really wouldn't. Because, well, again, I threw it out as a random bullshit thing, but... Like, it could work, but you need to describe it just right, because La Sombra are generally very Darwinistic, and they wouldn't necessarily be that... It would have to be... It would depend a lot on how that help manifested, you know? And how it was I, pitched. I think this would... More, the anti review are rare enough. I think this would just be a personal interaction kind of thing. I... Yeah, I think you might be better off spending that on some other group because they are such a small force. Yeah. You might be better off going for something like Caitiff. 
Oh, the Caliph Aura thing. I mean, they are rare, but that would might also extend to other strays that don't necessarily have a clan that is widely respected yes. and recognized. So, yes, that is part of what Caliph are. So this would fit really well with my character. So, she just, again, she just tends to not have a particularly discriminatory streak or, you know, bad rumors and stuff. More from experiences with people. Uh, so, when she meets Caitiff, she generally she treats them just like she would any other vampire. Mm hmm Which is quite a big step up. Okay. And give us a specific example of how that could be exemplified. So, uh, when she came across a small town before, uh, apparently the Kadif were having a really tough time trying to deal with some of the more political stuff going on. Uh, and she went in and actually just it, it wasn't really like something she was focused on or anything. She just uh, got rid of some of the stuff going down that was just really harming the caitiff at the time. She has quite a bit of influence and contacts and stuff, so... Well, that is within this city specifically, at least the influence part. So, essentially, be more specific on how that would have come about, because you're being very general. I am, and that's because I'm trying to think of something that would be specifically a problem here. Uh, you know what? Actually, I do have a bit of a, an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the vampires of that town were trying to out the caitiff's basically last home. Uh, when she came into town, she not only managed to talk the vampires away from, you know, putting their resources into a rather non-entity like this, mm -hmm. uh, but even managed to convince the, you know, local mortals to see about pouring some more money into that institution. Okay. Sure. A random, unspecified institution. We'll go with that. Uh, I didn't really want to, you know, be presumptuous and say that they were in, uh, you know, basically a run-down run homeless shelter. <laughs> I mean, that certainly works. This is, in most of the time, a very vague time period in a very vague uh, territorial uh, you know, locations, so it, generally speaking, doesn't matter that much. Because, essentially, it's it's not here. It's flavor text. Just yeah. that it's, you know, important flavor, flavor text. text. can be important. Yeah. yeah. Flavor text can be important. Very much. Uh, Demi, are you back? That sounded like a no to me. So... That sounded like no to me. You have one negative and one positive left, so where do you want to put them? Can I finish writing this down, please? <laughs> I mean, if you have to... This is for your benefit, as well as mine. <laughs> wow. I mean, sure, you could just have me make stuff up if you want. I don't mind. You won't like it. But I certainly could. Oh, God, fucking damn it. Sorry. We would have started with the fun stuff, with how you met as a group and the like if everyone had fucking showed up on time. Now I had to adjust. Because this was the stuff I was gonna do at the end if, you know, we had enough time. Yeah. So, the last negative. 
Who else might have a problem with you? Like, if you add a negative to an existing positive, it isn't necessarily a wash, it's just that one bit might be more influential in one situation and another one in a different one, depending on who yeah. you're talking to. Yeah, the, that's all that really means in general. These aren't really... It, these are minuses and pluses, but at the same time, they're more... It's more important that they just kind of exist points in history. Yeah. Like, an outright clan enmity, like... It's, that requires some stuff. Like, an outright clan enmity would be minus five. Like, the traditional Bruch, well, sorry, Bruch Aventru or Doria Dora Nosferatu kind of spat, that would be like a minus three. So... You would have to put a lot of negatives onto a single group for them to really despise you, you know? Damn with the pluses. Yeah. You're not getting clan friendship without getting like plus four, plus five here. Like you would you would have to go up to plus five to essentially have that count as clan friendship in practice. And even then it would be there might still be outliers as well, so... But yeah, who might hate you? Tell me a story. Well, let's see. Who would hate a nice little Wally Balkavian girl that helps people whenever she can? <laughs> let's go take a look at the clans real quick. See if anything pops out at me. Bali. Oh. I was about to say Giovanni, but hey, Bali works. <laughs> if you include Bali, I'm gonna include Bali. With the uh, most recent version of the uh, Void Flames. So, uh, well, buff uh, to High Heaven. Let's, uh, let's not include the Bali particularly. She just has somehow not met the Bali. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> relation Vivian's relationship with Ventru is neutral, I believe. Uh, Alcavians tend to just be on a slightly bad foot with everybody because everyone knows they're crazy, but they're also not on any particularly bad foot with anybody. So, I'm in a pretty good position in a lot of ways. Cool Imp is suggesting that you might have uh, spiked Aventro's blood supply to, as a uh, prank with your own uh, insane bullshit. No one knows about that quite yet, okay? <laughs> Just, well, that's a, a separate thing. Like, all Malkavians have madness in the blood and someone starts drinking enough of it. Oh, no, no, uh, uh, I was talking about a certain flaw. Okay, never that's, mind. Uh, yeah, that's when you bite people, generally. Though, <laughs> I would probably make your blood more virulent as well, to vampires at least, because fuck them. <laughs> uh, I don't think she would do it on purpose, generally. That's something generally important. What Unless she had a way to control what would show up. Yeah, no fucking way. Yeah. So, because she does know some of those can be basically killers, I don't think she would do it on the off chance it did go and kill him somebody like that. What kind of pranks would you have pulled? Like, I will, I wanted to cover this later as to how you relate to your classical clan stuff, but because oh, this... Uh, she's certainly played pranks uh, fairly often, actually. It's just generally she's uh, almost always kept it more on the level of actual pranking. Uh, 
not usually the deadly kind of pranking. Uh -huh. You know, she gave directions to the local, uh, a local Malkavian, possibly, rather than to the local Primogen. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, Demi is back, so he can do his penultimate, uh, good tick, and, uh, you can have a bit more time to think. Yeah, trying to... Um, I, I still haven't finished all the good. points, by the way. Like I said, you have two more positive and one negative, right? Um, no, one more positive, one more negative. Okay, then start with the negative. Um, last clan, so, or whatever. Who hates you? Who really dislikes you? I have, I still have that La Sombra Sabat enemy I made from one of, for one of your previous characters. If you, uh... I'm not exactly sure uh, who would still hate me. Um, your own clan for being a wimpy fuck. Kill yourself, faggot. Um. I'm not sure, like, I do hate this, like, uh, Sabah, but I'm not sure in, like, how would I have exactly dealt with the Sombra themselves. I really hated it, mostly due to the Zimsi, but I guess I could see the Sombra as a sort of, just basically Sabat Ventru, and I don't like the Ventru already. Mm -hmm. So I guess I could find... But I'm not sure exactly, like, what would I would have done so they don't like me, that's the thing. You interfered with one of their, uh, blood court meetings? He wouldn't be able to find those, I would say. That's, that's not the kind of stuff you just randomly stumble into. You would have to go looking and tracking it. He doesn't have the skills for that. Ah, uh, okay. You could have found one if you were looking Epic, he... he couldn't. I mean, Epic can kind of find anything if he really tries. Well, up to a point. Probably can't find the Inkanu very easily. You know, well, to identify members fairly alright, but... Demi, maybe the Gargoyles all hate you. No, uh, I actually would have. Uh, didn't we already say I kind of would have helped them with the uh, against the uh, Tremir? You so, mostly see. denounced the Tremir. You didn't, I think, say that you were actually killing Tremir necessarily in a public way. Yeah, but I don't see me uh, like going again exactly against the gargoyles themselves. You know. That isn't the same as them not disliking you. What you think is relatively innocent could still have resulted in them being madly pissed at you. I don't know. Uh, let's see. You are liked by the Bruja and the uh, Toreador, right? Yeah, and of course my own clan, so, uh... You could be disliked by the Nosferatu mildly. Because, essentially, you might have decided to side with the, uh, Toreador. In... as opposed to them when they felt they were in the right. Several times, because, you know, you are closer to Toreador. You have to pick um, something, Demi. God damn. Like, like, a second ago, like, with my last point of relations, I actually wanted to be good with the Nosferatu, so now I'm in a big dilemma. Um... So, now I'm thinking. Exactly. Or I could always have the venture hate anymore, that would be also nice. I don't think I'm gonna let you take a single clan like minus three, is it? That would be no, minus three. No, venture is minus one. Oh. 
Yeah, we just stated that. that. Okay. When I asked, because I thought it was a minus two, but then you fixed me on a minus one. No, you should have gotten a minus... You did four different little bits on it, didn't you? No. I mean, he... There were two. Opposing the, uh... Oh, you know, yeah. just personally bad-mouthing the Ventru, and of course, just ignoring their authority. But Chris just went with, that's gonna be one sort of thing. I mean... Yeah, Bad-mouthing them is right. one, if you want to ignoring their authority thing to be another one, you can, you just have to, you know, describe that as a separate event and make it a separate thing. Also, where the fuck are you writing these in? Uh, in my notes, but it's not exactly events and sense, just, uh, exactly sort of like... Don't you have events. a... you have a backstory thing, you should be writing it in there. I yeah, literally asked you when we first yeah. started, you said put it in your notes, first of all. Those are your fucking backstory notes, you fucker! <laughs> Seriously, why would you put it in here? You fuck! Because I, I asked you where I was gonna put them, and you said notes. I'm like, okay, notes. <laughs> I love that he thought of notes as his actual character sheet. <laughs> Demi, stop! You are bad! People are laughing at you in the chat for fuck's sake! I mean, he's not lying. You did say notes. I just thought it was pretty obvious what kind of notes these were. <laughs> Let me just copy paste the read of that backstory. <laughs> And fix the Ventru thing? Oh, right, you're writing the plus twos in a big thing. Uh, yeah, like I said numerous times before, the ignoring their authority and the bad mounting them in Elysium are two different things. Okay. I just need to give examples of these. Yeah. Okay, so I gave the example of bad mounting them. Yes. Yep. And. Now I need to do an ignore authority thing. Yes, like, how would that have played out in a way that would have been bad enough, essentially, for the Ventru to just go, Oh, you mean that guy? Oh yeah, he's a cunt. Uh, here's a question now. Would I actually be able to use uh, my, uh, my flaw that I got? Would I be able to sort of buy the Nautilus of the Prince Ventru? by actually going after his child and totally just ignoring the actual prince? Would that actually be a sort of way of ignoring authority? That is a separate thing. You have... Yeah, Stop trying to get out of describing more shit. The entire point is to describe more fucking events in your history I'm than me. Trying, I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, make, like, mix-match things together so they make sense. I'm not trying to avoid things. Demi. We are trying to add broad strokes to your character. We have four or five hundred years of history here to cover. Trying to condense it down. You, you're not a fucking neonate. There is gonna be details, or there should be details in an elder's backstory. It needs to be spread out. That's the whole point. That's why we're doing it this way. Okay, then. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll uh, go on another thing. Uh, I'll actually take an idea that you gave before, um, which was, a there was a primogen cat calling. I, I'm going to say that I was, uh, you know, just in the new world somewhere like before, uh, it had a sort of small pad of power. I wasn't like something big, like the other sort of clans, just something there, but still, you know, still technically sort of a primogen. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go with what you did and uh, basically call the primogen meeting or just the meeting in general And I just basically literally just ignored that shit M Probably multiple times as well just going out doing my own sh shit Maybe with other bruja or other toriadors even and just totally ignoring the prince Of course I would have appeared sometimes But mostly just ignore him City is burning in a slow flame Emergency meeting of Primogen Council. Gangrel just yawns. Uh, I think I'm done with this town. <laughs> if it was meant to burn, and it's already burning, that was the way it's supposed to be. Off to the next city. Okay. I that, one might act, if that is the actual, uh, you know, example you're going with. I that 
might come back to bite you one day. You have unlocked the ability to take clan enmity ventral. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so Epic, your last negative one. Uh, yeah, uh, I've decided the uh, Giovanni. Okay. General. Go uh, on. She actually, uh, the Giovanni have sent spirits to go and see about watching over, and she's actually befriended them. Quite often. Okay. That's the general gist. And, uh, but, so, give me a specific, yeah, give me a specific. Uh, so, the first time that she went and saw a ghost, or a wraith, whatever you want to call it, she actually freaked out for a moment. <laughs> went and ran and hide. Uh, really freaked him out. But then they actually started talking to each other. He realized that he was a very nice, uh, you know, European soldier of old. Uh, well, old for him, for her. He actually was actually time blind. Uh, and they actually started uh, talking about the olden times. <laughs> and started really getting it, getting along. And she eventually uh, said that she'd see about finding a way to help him get <laughs> Okay. So you cost them a valuable servant by helping it move on. Probably a couple times before they figured it out. It it wouldn't have been that many times, but because the spirits would still have been compelled to report back on what was happening due to the power of disciplines and fetters and etc. Oh yeah, they'd certainly figure it out. But having to uh, rotate out spirits, like yeah, that would definitely be enough to annoy them, especially after losing one outright. Okay. Motherfucking French. Never trust anyone who comes from France. They're fucking assholes. But okay, Demi. Uh -huh. Your last positive uh, dick. <sighs> last positive. I was I was thinking Nosferatu. Okay, why? So first of all, uh, I know the Nosferatu have their own special stories, which I might have done. Uh, and another thing is, it, when I interacted with what I believe when I attracted with the Nosferatu, I would have just seen that they were a lot, that a lot of them were just misunderstood. And uh, and a lot of them were actually, you know, actually pretty decent people. Just, you know, you know, through the fucking, you know, appearance, nobody really knew that. Um, so I believe that I would have actually made, uh, been pretty okay with the Nosferatu, you know, just uh, actually understood them uh, and uh, helped them at times, actually, as well. Uh, since I'm traveling, what do you want to say, Epic? Uh, well, you keep saying you understood them. And yet, it sounds like you've completely misunderstood them. <laughs> I mean, the Nosferatu are kind of douchebags, Demi, by necessity, and they don't really share information with outsiders as well. Yeah, it's not really completely just uh, the appearance thing or anything like that. They really are kind of douchey a lot of the time. They are kind of one of the more outside clans, like Gangrel and Bruja, and theirs is a more mercenary interaction with the center of the Camarilla. In some ways, at least. Depends on city, of course. 
I mean, crap, this is a positive take, supposedly. He wants to be liked by the Nosferatu. Yeah, they... From my general knowledge, I'm not sure... They might find him hilarious with his conception of their morality. Yeah, I was if distracted by uh, chat. Uh, what was uh, his exact conception of their morality? Uh, he was talking all about uh, just how they literally were uh, always downtrodden, which they are, misunderstood, they generally aren't. <laughs> Uh, people don't generally misunderstand the Nosferatu. It's more of, can you actually stand to be with the Nosferatu? Yeah, they mean, if you told them how misunderstood they were, you would have woken to someone dumping a bucket of sewage over you the next night. I have no idea what to put my one plus point in then. They could still be Nosferatu, but it wouldn't be around that. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, like, these aren't free points. I don't know what to fucking, you know, describe anymore, because I'm out. I, I literally don't know what to do anymore. Okay, what do we have? Bruja Gangrel, Ventru, Tordo, Tremere, Zimitsi. Uh... I mean, you could go back to the Malk idea. What could go wrong there? I am fucking tempted to get a fucking loot with a with the Elder of a uh, Toriator in it. Makes my music very nice. That you would need to buy with freebies as an artifact thing, because that's like a fifth gen discipline uh, ritual thing to make it. <laughs> They could do temporary ones pretty easy. Doing a permanent version is pretty damn hard. Like, the closest analog is the uh, weapon of a kindred soul that I can think of. For a permanent version, yeah, that's about all I can. There's definitely a temporary one where one of the paths involves making things basically move and talk and stuff. That's just animating shit, that wouldn't trap the spirit in there, though. That is true. Not trapping the spirit. It could be another supernatural demi. They have Wait, another supernatural? Fetish or something? If... It could potentially be another supernatural, if you can justify it really insanely well. Probably not. I mean, I've already killed werewolves, so that's out of the question. Um, I can't do mages. No. No. No, I can't see uh, it. Actually, uh, it could it could be a thing. It just wouldn't actually talk to him most of the time. Uh, they uh, remember that spirit manipulation actually has the level four that allows you to make fetishes and such. Actually, here's a question. Uh, what about the Fae? We, you guys did talk about that somehow I wouldn't be the one uh, affecting the Fae with the uh, whole banality thing. You could. If you, if you think of a, somehow that you were on good relations with the Fae, though? Like, you would first of all have to have interacted with them and interacted with them in a way that led to uh, them, like, I can think of a way that co you could have helped them, but I'm not gonna give that to you. If you can figure it out on your own, good for you. Gee, thanks. There's a reason I didn't ever bother mentioning them. <laughs> hmm. I mean, how do you feel about snakes? I mean, I probably wouldn't have in even interacted with them. 
That's what that's the thing. Someone goes pssst in a dark alley and offers you a scroll with a story on it. There's more where that came from, kid. <laughs> hey kids, I heard hey kid, I heard you <laughs> like stories. <laughs> <laughs> my car. Oh god, please don't do that. The satites could fuck you over so awesomely with that kind of shit. <laughs> I mean, I've already built a snack character. <laughs> Where did I put her? Here. Oh, yes, I did. Did I give her? Yes, I did. Because we needed that particular bullshit discipline in a game again. So, Demi. What are your thoughts? What is your final pick? I I'm looking. I've even gone so far to just look at other bloodlines, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true Bruja, right? I mean, the only one that I can sort of see me going against and possibly despising, Nagaraja. Demi, I will tell you this. If you ever want to fuck Jackalor with as much status as you have, you can probably convince the gang that knows Storm Turgy to teach you on the down low. <laughs> tempting, tempting. Of course, you would both be on the Tremere kill list and have an immediate clan enmity, but... Fuck the Tremere, right? <laughs> Fuck the Tremere. So... I don't know, I, I'm feeling sort of like that I would go against the Nagaraja simply for the fact of their flaw and then actually eating people. Yes. Which, you know, drinking blood or something, I mean, I've gotten used to it, but actively eating people fully. I mean, you sense. could always be friendly with the hunters. Why would I be friendly with the hunters? Because you hate yourself and don't embrace your animal nature. Nah. Crap, there's a difference between him hating the Tremere and the Tremere hating him. Come on, Demi, we need a decision. I don't fucking know anymore, Jesus Christ. Decide, yes. motherfucker! Fuck you. Wow. Rude. Okay, fine. Well, I'm not the first one. I'm not the person hurting myself up. Craft. One more hate. And. I might just. You know, time you out for spam. <laughs> there aren't any uh, server farms yet, Cool Imp, because we start in 1957. There are possibilities, Demi. Maybe the Earthbound as a faction hate you. You know what? Yes. Since I already already went that far, I'm gonna put my uh wait. Shit. Never mind. Yes. No, no, I no, it's not that I goofed up, uh Fuck I don't know at this point. Fucking hell. Which clan would I like for the end? Also, it's a like, not a dislike, actually. Yes, it is. It is a like. Yeah, that's what I goofed up. Yeah, that's why I goofed up. So... Fucking enemy. Actually... Actually... You're gonna hate me for this, because I know you hate them. 
But I feel my character would probably have connected with some of them. Can you guess which one? Your clan hates the Ravnos and they hate you back, Demi. No, no, no. No, no, it's not the Ravnos. It's not the Ravnos. It's a bloodline. Daughters of Kakar. They don't exist! <laughs> 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 they they don't fucking exist. Fuck you. Come on, I'd, I'd be perfect with them. No. Um, uh, I'm not sure you understand perfect and daughters of cacophony. <laughs> like, you would go wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and then they would knock your ass over halfway around the world. <laughs> suddenly starts yelling next to you from 500 miles away WHY DID YOU NEVER CALL ME BACK?! You used to call me on my cell <laughs> that mean now? Demi, just go with the Malkavians like you originally planned. Be brave. Okay, but... Fine, I'll go with the Malkavian, but I can't find a next good explanation. That's the problem. Uh, we can go with the frog. The frog? <laughs> yeah, you happen to have a frog, and the uh, elder Malkavian needed a frog at the time. Really thankful for it. I first need a general description for how would that work over a longer term, because no way that would all come from a single event. Not how it works. Totally. That would just be the particular event given. <laughs> yes, Demi? I don't know, I, like, I literally just want to say I, I like that like, the, like, me and the Malkavians are okay with each other, because I just find the Malkavians, like, fun, I guess. I mean, I just sort of you get have a to me. good point to a degree that they do tend to have a lot of various stories and knowledge to tell you. It's yeah, just I'm shifting really... through the bullshit can take a while, too. Like, that might have been my main cause of going to them, but of course, uh, with my nature and whatnot, uh, might actually end up enjoying them, you know? And yeah, Demi, the, uh... Chad was telling you how you could get the, uh, she on your side. And fairies in general. I cleared the chat for you. Kill yourself. <laughs> no, I've already... I've already... I'll go with the fucking Malkavians. Okay, describe it to me. So, now the actual event. Uh, I'm not gonna go with the fuck. That kinda sounds a bit... No, the general thing first. I want to see you Didn't phrase I... it in a way that works, because Epic was just talking about a frog. It would totally technically work. Shush! That's just Let him ridiculous. struggle! Let him... <laughs> he wanted a detailed character creation process. He was bugging me halfway through Tolka for it. You could have, you know, notified so I could actually prep this shit in time. He did notify us! When? From the very start! Yes, what? and I mentioned some things about making more involved stuff about how you fit into the world, at the very least in voice chat last night. You were there. Yeah, you've been saying that you wanted to make this literally two pre-sessions worth of backstory. For everybody and for us to prepare as much as we thought was necessary for you know just our own stuff yes i want these to be real characters demi i thought this is what you wanted i don't even understand yeah, you anymore <laughs> <laughs> Epic, I think we broke him. Yes, you fucking broke me. Fuck off. <laughs> Epic, do you want to go first on the last one? Uh, I'm a little torn on which way to go with this. But 
Ah, uh, sure. Let's see. I had some idea a little bit ago that I really liked, but I forgot it. Uh, maybe a raid. I'm in good terms with raids. That wouldn't be enough to spread that far. Yeah. Not yeah, not to be chilling with just a couple of enslaved ones. You you would be able to ascend like you know that they exist for reals, but that's about it. Then that leaves me with thinking about the Ventru or the Bruja. Or the Gangrel. Problem is, I'm not sure what she would be doing that would gain their respect in general. Yeah, Bruja, I feel, with how you've positioned yourself, is more or less impossible, realistically, on the kind of level we're talking about. So you're probably better off trying to go for a ventral. Also, Jack I mean, Lord, are you true. literally speechless now? How the fuck, in other words? Oh, uh, for the ventral, I think I can't, I do know of a way to get them to appreciate, and that's Generally, by being just really good at, you know, manipulating situations, really. Uh, just being able to fix masquerade breaches that occur, and even just, you know, general damage and stuff. Well, I... Towards the end, I guess I can see how that would work. Give me a specific example. Uh, a specific example would be, like, uh, with no other vampires to help out after a Sabbat uh, attack, she went around, uh, fixed up memories, as well as uh, convincing some people that, uh, yeah, there was totally uh, a rampaging with a bunch of uh, safes that just man just slam into everywhere, things like that. Or mm. no, yeah, that kind of instance. Mm hmm. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Sure. We'll, we'll we'll go with this. It's fine. Okay. So Demi. Your last thing. You still need to describe it. For fuck's sake, just come up with something. I'll tell you if it doesn't work. Like, I know why I would go to the Malkavians, but I don't know why the Malkavians would go to me. Literally, just think of something and he'll tell you if it works or not. Yes. This is not a... This is not a huge deal. It's a reason why there, why there is a mild like from that particular group towards your character. Those that have heard about you. What about, not instead of being sort of a actual person who got, you know, the one who got pranked, what if I wanted to actually help the Malkavians prank people? I mean, sure, that might help, but you would still get pranked in the process. Have a prank fest. Like you show up to prank someone, wait till morning in a church with really big windows and then realize as you try to leave after, you know, realizing the person isn't coming, that the fuckers have locked the doors on you kind of thing.
I mean, the Malks wouldn't care that much necessarily about Masquerade. Yeah. Breach. But, uh, well, here's the problem, Cool Limp. He needs to describe a overall pattern and then give a specific example of that pattern. We're not... The light doesn't come from a single event. The single event is just an example of the kind of stuff he does regularly. Yeah. Okay, so That's you... That's why I wanted to ask before, um, like... When I asked before, like, did Malkavians like puzzles, I was actually thinking, what if I uh, did something like compose a battle that was, like, so deep? That even the Malkavians had trouble like fully deciphering it, sort of thing. You know, if you were able to fuck with their heads, that might be worth a little bit of respect. I'm really curious what he would have said. To do that. Yes, I do want to hear the specific before I uh, approve of this, though. Uh, fuck you, man. I fucking hate every single one of you guys. <laughs> okay. So what confused the Malkavians? How did you trick them? I wonder if something like this would work. Using their own insanity into a song and try them figuring out if they can fuck realize their own insanity. Uh, no insanity well enough to pull that off. Yes, and most one... mouths would just go, yep, yep, that's how the world works. They see that as the normal state of events to a large extent. Like their brains te are telling them that it's real. They might eventually learn intellectually that they're deficient in a certain way, but they it still feels right to them. Yeah, that's actually one of the big parts of trying to play a Malkavian, is realizing that they're playing in a different world from what everyone else is basically playing in. There's just a couple of different little rules they buy. Uh, Ishmael was so fun. Rip. Uh, once you understand that, they become insanely fun to play. So Demi, describe how did you... Like, keep going, how did you fuck with the Malks? I'm thinking, that's why I used that as a first example, uh, which didn't work. Um, let's look at your thoughts. Also, what would be your motivation for fucking with the Malks in the first place? Uh, I'd have to say my nature, though, to be honest. What, you enjoy screwing with people? I mean, literally and figuratively. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I want to cut Jackalore for that. I really do. He was literally talking to us two hours ago, then he went off and he managed to get his mic stolen in the meantime. Did you get your microphone stolen? What the fuck, man? I I have zero words for this fucking asshole. Jackalot, get the rifle you keep for Moose, cause you told me about that, I know, and go shoot a bitch. <laughs> Demi, seriously, this video is running over. I know. Turn your brain back on. It's been on. I can't. Well, try to figure out how you would... Okay, no. Don't think about how you would trick a Malk. How would Ishmael trick another Malk? Or Satan? <laughs> or some other Malk that's worth talking I about? I, say, 
I don't know Satan that much, so my really my really my get go was Ishmael. <laughs> Fucking fun times with Kirk, eh? I mean, I know how I'd go fuck with a milk. Yeah, well, you guys are prof fucking milk professionals. I know how I would, if I was playing Ishmael, I would just... Um, go up to them and try and... Uh, <laughs> I, either whether with just body language or with a carefully picked statement, just go like... Did you enjoy the prank kind of thing? And then walk away. <laughs> Leave them to Mine figure it out. Of, mine more what would have actually been to honestly be more like, oh yeah, you know how you're crazy and all of that. No, no, don't worry. Everybody has that same thing. You are normal. <laughs> Reality is true. You are a reality. <laughs> really confuse them for a little while. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a long-term thing, because at first they would assume that that's just perfectly normal. They'd be... But it doesn't fit what I'm seeing here. And that is why I love my long-term cons. <laughs> Seriously, Demi, how do you trick a milk? I don't know. Okay, then that explanation is a fail, because clearly your character is incapable yeah. of tricking a milk. I'm incapable in person in general, for fuck's sake. So, next idea. Or do you want to take a break and uh, get the chance to yell at Jackal or... I don't know even if, like, I'm so pissed at myself, I don't even know if I can enjoy fucking with Jack Floor. <laughs> okay, we'll take a break here. <laughs> Clearly. Let me, let me. <laughs>